Hey everybody, it's Michelle from The Stamp Doctor, and I hope you're doing well today. I'm gonna to show you how to use the concertina die uh, in a big shot. This is not gonna fit in a cuddle bug, but it will fit in a standard big shot with a few little special tips. I know it says it requires a large format machine. I did that because I didn't wanna have anyone purchase it thinking they could use it in the big shot, big shot Excuse me, and find out that it's a little bit wide and it takes a little bit of added effort there but real quick this is the website and Facebook YouTube phone number how to contact me so we'll set this aside now the concertina die it's called a number six because it fits a personal number six envelope and concertina is just another name for zigzag or fold so this is a finished card with layers um, and you'll see I didn't use the layers on the back conserving paper. I also use the Perfect Layers rulers on the edge here uh, to add a 1 16th border. So what you're actually going to get is the sunflower layer and they do cut and stitch at the same time and you do get layers for all the way both sides. Uh, and I did a belly band on this one but uh, so that's what the finished dot, uh, product can look like. The base card is going to, everything's sliding off my shelf over here, the base card is going to look like this, and it's going to score, cut and score. Okay, so let me show you how I manipulated it. All right, you're going to need the long platform for this, and um, it's going to have the base platform and the thin die adapter, and then the long plates. Um, I do have a white nylon plate that will work with this and I'll grab one when I'm done and show you and then you can message me if you want to purchase one. Um, I'm not going to put them on my regular website. All right, so this die is exactly the width of the platform itself. The die outside line is the same size as the plate. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to tape with stencil tape um, that I sell or you can use whatever removable tape you want. Um, you're going to want to tape that over the score lines facing upward on your base plate. Leave yourself lead in space here that's about an inch and a half um, for, for that to begin feeding into the machine. Okay, Your paper here is a little over six and an eighth. Now when you become really good at this you might want to cut your paper at the angle to match the die so that you can get two, two cards out of an eight and a half by eleven. For simplicity I just went ahead and cut it straight. And it's a little bit wider than the platform, than these things, okay? So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna wanna tape this paper in place so it doesn't move. Um, I have a couple of strips I've already used here. So again, this is uh, 11 inches long and it is six and an eighth, little over six and an eighth wide. So just cut it on the the plus side of six and an eighth. And then you're going to tape it over the die. Okay, and I want my lead in to start up there. I'm not sure why these are longer than the platform. It kind of doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but I wasn't there when they developed it, so there's probably something I'm missing. Um, and then you're going to want to put your other plate over the top. Now, sometimes I found that the plate could shift. The top plate and if the top plate should shift because there is room in the machine to make it go sideways if it shifts it could potentially miss the cut line on one side of the die so to keep that from occurring what i did was i lined up my plates and to me it's just much easier to have the bigger machine but that's not in everyone's budget so these are just things that i feel work you can recycle this stencil tape, so not a big deal there. Now you're gonna have paper sticking out, but your platform, your plates rather, are going to be lined up. So that means they're gonna be over top of where they need to be over top of. Okay, so we're gonna stack all that stack together. Let me get my machine. So I'm gonna be showing you with the Big Shot Fold Away. That's the, the one I have. I actually have the Tim Holtz Vagabond, but like a dork, I moved the cord in here and I stuck it somewhere and I literally just do not understand why I didn't put it in the machine, but cord is not here. So 
that's not good. All right, so we have it started here and we just crank it through. Always sounds terrible when you get started. It's a little bit more difficult. It's really difficult when you haven't been using a hand crank machine and you're so used to the electric machine. Then it's kind of crazy like. All right, so we'll put the fold away over there. All right, and then we'll take our whole stack off. And, oh, it did break the tape, so you couldn't exactly recycle that tape. But let's open it like this, like a big gigantic folder. We could recycle one end of the tape. And then you can see here, it made contact all the way around. Um, I, I did get my paper a little bit far to one side, so there's a little piece of removable stencil tape actually on the card here, which is no harm, no foul. And I just peel these off. Okay, that one's stuck in the paper. So maybe not as recyclable always. Okay, and then we will pull this off. And if you ever have tape that sticks to your paper, heat it with a heat tool or a light. You won't get it to peel the paper. When it's warm, it comes off. When it's cold, it bonds. There, we have a concertina base. And of course the regular, the layer dies are all gonna fit just regular. Um, you can fold it this way, or you can fold it this way. For some reason, I open mine this way. Um, other people open it this way. You can make double ones. You can make tall card ones. That's in other videos. But anyway, so I just wanted to show. Um, you can see how much leftover paper that you have. That's why if you cut your paper uh, to kind of to match the die a little closer, you'll get two out of one sheet of cardstock. But that is how you can utilize your standard machine, your standard six inch opening big shot with the concertina die. Okay, so you can order the die. It's currently on sale uh, at thestampdoctor.com. Check out the little icon for the 2021 super sale. It goes through July 3rd. And be sure to comment if you have any questions. And if you would like the white plate, let me grab one of those and I'll show you what that's about. So I had my plastics company make me these nylon plates. They don't warp as badly, or I haven't found them warping at all. Um, I just haven't added them to the website. But I had this cut for this die because what you could do is you could purchase one of these and it would replace the plastic plate here, the clear one, and then you could just leave the die permanently stuck to this base plate that is just the right size for the concertina die. So then you would just throw it on there, you wouldn't have to get your tape out and tape it, and then you wouldn't have tape maybe sticking to your clear plates if you needed them for other long dies. Um, but if you want to in the comment section, uh, let me know if you're interested. And as soon as I get them online, I have to figure out the pricing because I didn't even look for my last plastics order. Um, but I'll figure out the pricing and then I'll put them up on my website. But in the meantime, if you want one before then, before I get all the pictures and the yucky stuff I have to do for that up, <laughs> just let me know. Alrighty, so thank you for joining me. And I hope this is exciting for you all with the Big Shot that would like to use the concertina die in your regular Big Shot. Have a happy day. Bye-bye.